Okay, so in this lecture, we are going to discuss about uh, the topic compound interest. So we will start with the formula of the compound interest first. So we have some terminologies for compound interest. The first terminology for compound interest is P, which will be used for principal. R will be used for the rate of interest. N will be again used for number of years. A will be used for amount. And CI will stand for compound interest. So the formula for uh, compound interest that we are going to use is amount is equal to, so I'm going to use A first, amount is equal to P into 1 plus R upon 100 raised to N. So this is the formula for amount whenever I'm dealing with problems of compound interest. And uh, the, the formula for compound interest will be equal to A minus P. Which is the same as to say that amount is equal to principal plus compound interest. Same formula. Instead of simple interest, we now here have what? We have compound interest. Or we can use this formula also. Most of us will use this formula when we want to find compound interest for a given problem. Okay. Now let us use this uh, formula and find the compound interest. So let me write one simple question here. Find the compound interest. on a principal of 5,000 rupees at 8% for three years. So find the compound interest on a principal of rupees 5000 at 8% for 3 years. So this is the way we now we will solve. So here the principal is 5000. The rate is 8%. And the number of years in will be 3 years. So we will first use the formula for amount. We will use this formula. A is equal to P into 1 plus R upon 100 raised to N. So we will use this formula first. Okay. So A is equal to, so the first formula is A is equal to P into bracket 1 plus R upon 100 raised to N. So A is equal to 5000 into bracket 1 plus R is 8 upon 100 bracket raised to 3. Can because n is 3. So this is equal to 5000 bracket 1 plus. Now 8 upon 100, we will find from the calculator 8 divided by 100, which is 0 0.08. So this 8 upon 100 will be written as 0 0.08 raised to 
raised to 3. In the next step, I will write A is equal to 5000 into bracket. What is 1 plus 0 0.08? So 1 plus 0 0.08 is equal to 1.08 so i will write this addition is how much this addition is 1.08 raised to 3 okay now in the next step what i will do is i will find out what is 5 so a is equal to 5000 multiplied by 1.08 is how many times it is three times 1.08 multiplied by 1.08 multiplied by 1.08 so i will use this uh, do this by using the calculator so it is 5000 multiplied by 1.08 multiplied by 1.08 second time Again, multiply by 1.08. So three times I have multiplied 1.08 to itself. So the answer will become 6298.56. We will write only two digits. After the decimal point, we will always write only two, two digits because we are working with money. Okay. And in money, in, in the in the um, in the quantities like money you don't use three four digits after the decimal points you use only two digits so suppose there were more digits after the decimal points i will not pay attention i will just write only two digits after that so here we already have two digits so it is 6298.56 which is 6298.56 this is the value of the amount but now i actually want to find what i want to find the compound interest to a minus p and uh, what was the amount in the question the amount was five uh, the amount is 6298.56 minus the principal is how much principal is 5000 so minus 5000 so when i use a calculator I will get uh, 6298.56 minus 5000 and that is equal to how much 1298.56 so I will write it as 1298.56 so this will become the this will become the compound interest of the given problem let us solve the next question on compound interest. Find the compound interest on a principal of rupees 10,000 at 10% for five years so here principal is 10000 rate is 10% and number of years is five years we will now write the formula the formula is a equal to p into 1 plus r upon 100 raised to n and therefore it is equal to 10,000 1 plus 10 upon 100 raised to 5 because n is equal to how much because n is equal to 5 in the calculator I will calculate now what is 10 upon 100 so 10 divided by 100 Is 0 0.1 so I will write instead of 10 upon 100 I will write 0 0.1 now so which is equal to 10,000 as it is 1 plus this is 0 0.1 okay raised to 
0.5. Okay, now what is the 1 plus 0.1? So in my calculator, I will just add 1. So 0.1 plus 1 is how much? It is 1.1. So I will write 1.1. This addition is how much? This addition is 1.1 using my calculator. So 10,000 into 1 plus, I'm sorry, 1 plus, it is 1.1. And then I will put a bracket raised to how much? A bracket raised to 5. Now I will go in the calculator and I will do this multiplication. Which multiplication am I going to do? 10,000, I'm going to multiply 1.1 five times. Okay, 1.1 is how many more times it is written? Five times. So 1.1 into 1.1 into 1.1 multiplied by 1.1. This is five times. So I will open my calculator and I will do that multiplication now. 10,000 multiplied by 1.1 first time, then 1.1 second time multiplied by 1.1 third time, 1.1 fourth time, 1.1 fifth time. It is 16,105, okay? Five. Point one. So this is how much this is the this is the amount. Okay. And therefore, what is the compound interest? We know the formula of compound interest is equal to A minus P. Okay. How much is the amount? Amount is 16,105.1 minus principal. The principal is 10,000. So I will subtract 10,000 from it. So when I go in the calculator and I do 16,105.1 minus 10,000. So how much is that? That is equal to 6,105.1. So I will write 6,105.1. So this will become the compound interest for this particular problem.